Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Blame Game, the show that does to the news what Aris Robinson does for gay rights. <laughs> On the show tonight, as always, are resident comedy geniuses, Colin Murphy and Jake O'Kane. <laughs> and joining them tonight is an author, a polemicist and top-notch comic. He's the man behind the Mark Steele Solution and the Mark Steele Lectures. I know what you're thinking. Is it Mark Steele, Tim? It is Mark Steele! <laughs> Our final guest is a rising star in the comedy circuit. He's just done the Royal Variety Show, so this is a bit of a step up. <laughs> Please welcome the fabulous Stephen K. Amos. <laughs> That's our lineup. Now on with the show. Members of the audience ask the questions, and our panel provide the answers. So. Can we have our first question, please? I'm Connor from Donegal, the best county ever. And I would like to know who do you blame for the Brits being good at sports? Thank you, Connor from Donegal. Yes, the British have been gloating about their Olympic success with their huge haul of goals. Still, at least they finally shut up about 19 bloody 66. <laughs> but Ireland also managed to beat a few nations in the medal table. That's right, Tajikistan, you're our bitch now. <laughs> Who can we blame for the Brits suddenly being good at sports? Uh, it, is, uh, it is technically true, Mr. Man from Donegal. It doesn't look like you're from Donegal because no one from Donegal has teeth like that. <laughs> <laughs> or a tan. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, uh, it did fantastically well at the Olympics, it did brilliantly well, uh, spectacularly well, and fantastically well at the Paralympics as well, superbly well at the Paralympics. And uh, a runner from uh, Derry, wasn't it Derry? Was Derry, yeah. from Derry. Uh, a, uh, Jason Smith. Jason Smith, a visually impaired runner, uh, was running for Team Ireland. And uh, shouldn't have been. <laughs> and, uh, but he was. <laughs> and uh, he won two gold medals. He won uh, one for 100 metres, I think, and 200 metres, I think it was. And, uh, which was fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. Well done to him. And uh, there was another uh, blind athlete. There was, uh, she was from Australia. And she was uh, expelled from the Olympics because they do tests, do drug tests, and then they do tests for your disability. And she got tested, and she was in the Olympics. She'd got to the Olympics. She was good enough to get there. And then they did some tests on her, and they called her in. This is actually what happened. They called her in, and uh, the doctor said, uh, now, your left eye, that's in. <laughs> <laughs> it's blind. <laughs> your right eye, you can see a bit out of that. It's not in. <laughs> so she got kicked out of the Olympics. You should have just given her a patch. In my opinion, <laughs> that means pirates can't be in the Olympics. It's, you know, they've got one leg, they've got one arm, you know, one eye. They should be in the Olympics, but they're not allowed in the Olympics. But the good thing is, there's a good side to it, is that the uh, condition she has in her right eye uh, is actually getting worse. So, uh, <laughs> roll on 2012! Uh, so she must go to the, the doctors then with this, and the doctor yeah. must say, um, I've got the most terrible news, yeah. you're getting better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there, was there, was some, there was one of the top men from the Paralympics. This is not making this up. And they interviewed him about the Paralympics after a thing. And he sort of said, British, the British. And he was sort of saying, it's great. And he says, that the great thing about the Paralympics is there's, there's people sitting at home tonight don't know, but they'll be competing here in four years' time. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it a funny thing? Funny thing. You're in the British. You're British if you're. Now, no offence, obviously. No. But. <laughs> right, no, this is my point. Your man, Andy Murray, right? Yeah. Tennis player. He's winning. It's a terribly wonderful, this young British player. He's coming to the top of his form. Absolutely splendid. First time he's beat, the Scotsman's out. <laughs> he's out. The Scotsman's out. Well, Britain did very well, whatever the, uh, you call the team, did very well. 19 gold medals in the, the other Olympics, the, the first bit of the Olympics, whatever you call it. But 
all the while, if you are, if you're from, especially if you're from sort of uh, London like me, you're just watching the Olympics in Beijing, just thinking this is going to be so humiliating in four <laughs> years <laughs> time, when we make such a huge cock up muck rubbish thing of it. Nothing's going to be ready because it's it's England, and nothing will be. The stadiums won't be built on time, and the athletes <laughs> will just turn up there. There'll just be one athlete for the hundred metres final because the others will all be stuck at Wilsdon Green because of signal failure. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> swimming pool won't be ready, there'll be no water in it, they'll just be told to run backwards and forwards along the bottom. <laughs> Nothing will be ready. We, we couldn't even build one stadium, let alone a whole Olympics, just one stadium. And when you're in London, it's so humiliating. Every year, ringing up Cardiff, hello, yeah, we still haven't done it, I'm sorry, can you <laughs> stay there? No, we haven't, no, we, go, we, did, we put the pitch triangular or something, I don't know what it is, we got it all wrong and everything. And of course, Cardiff loved it, didn't they? Because they got, oh, we'll build you one, right, because we're hard, right? Because we're not like you pogs up in London, right? Because we'll get up a, a ladder with a lot of hods and bricks and we play rugby with our mud because we're not like your London ponches, right? So we'll build you a stadium, but we'll put a roof on it because we don't want to get wet. <laughs> 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 The weird thing about it all, I, I think uh, Mark, you touched on it, was uh, the closing ceremony, our Lord Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, who, by the way, incidentally, described young black children as pickaninnies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with watermelon smiles. <laughs> <laughs> dem bones, dem bones, dem my bones. <laughs> oh, Uncle Dean Pearcey sitting at home going, I'm not that bad. <laughs> Well, you, you, you know your mayor is a bit packed when, when Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger takes the piss, right? <laughs> they had an international conference call and he didn't realise his mic was on and Arnie was going to... to uh, he was going to... His, his representative was going, excuse me for the Arnie accent. Uh, he went, who is that idiot? <laughs> Sorry, that, that's a bit more Mugabe. <laughs> <laughs> what farm? <laughs> um, but in California, he's running Zimbabwe now. <laughs> But it was just extraordinary. I just thought, this is, this is, our, this is the art representative who's taken the flag is going to go, yeah, yeah, Boris, yeah, you're going to get, get back in London, yeah, I'm going to get all these picnics to run as fast as they can. <laughs> <laughs> because I remember when I was growing up as a kid, I asked my careers advisor what my future held, and he looked me in the eye, bearing in mind this was in the late 70s in London, he looked me in the eye and he went, um, bus driver? <laughs> <laughs> you people run, don't you? You people run. <laughs> you people run. <laughs> What's more offensive? You people run! <laughs> There's nothing for you here. <laughs> Everybody did agree that China did put on a really, really good game, apart from one guy, which was our local uh, boxer, Paddy Barnes, uh, from the Ardoin, who uh, boxes in for Holy Family. I don't think he was in Tim GB. No, no, no he wasn't. No, 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 no. <laughs> and Paddy, Paddy got a bronze medal. He did very well, got a bronze medal, but he, according to the judges, he didn't score a point in the fan, in the semi-final. And he was very, very upset. So upset that he said that China didn't deserve to have the Olympics. <laughs> and you think, come on, you know, China's done a lot. Tiananmen Square, you know, yeah. Tibet, yeah. you know. <laughs> you've given Paddy Barnes no marks. That's it. You've caught the <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, China. Yeah, but he also said that the judges should be drug tested. <laughs> he said, I'm drug tested away, not drug tested. <laughs> the thing that from here, from uh, the north, from Northern Ireland, from here, this place, uh, that's the only athletes we ever produce really in the Olympics are boxers. And not heavyweight boxers, we wiry, tiny little boxers. <laughs> we spidey, we get to go, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tiny little men that would clean you. Well, maybe the reason why uh, Britain is so good at sports at the moment is because of the collapse of the British Empire. You know, right. there's no one else to rape and pillage and invade anymore, <laughs> so we've got to find something we're very good at. Because <laughs> that's what we're very good at. Well, we, I say we, I wasn't part of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm very pleased to be here in Belfast tonight to up the black population by a thousand percent. It's so special. It's great. <laughs> Even then, even then, with the British gold medals, it's still sort of uh, you know, people get all excited, and half of them, it's what people have never heard of. Oh, we've won a gold medal in the hedgehog shooting or something, just all <laughs> stuff like that. And we still can't look cool. When you look at Bolt, the sprinter, no British person could ever do that, because usually the sprinter is all coiled and... And then they show you up the one lane, don't they, the specific camera just on them, and everything's, like, moving 